Zirkin and Schmerling Law, we do more dog bites than any firm in the state of Maryland by a long shot. We get referrals from lawyers from all over the state. We have developed a little niche of, of dog bite law. And this case is another kind of step in that evolution. As a senator, I was involved in this, this fight in the political system. My opinion at the time as a senator was that all innocent victims should be protected, regardless of whether the dog's running at large or not. If you didn't do anything wrong, my opinion was always from a political perspective that as a dog owner myself, <clears throat> if my dog did something horrible to somebody and they were innocent, that I should be responsible for that, not them. That's not <clears throat> quite how the law reads. It took some steps in that direction. We have expertise on this issue. We do a lot of these cases, hundreds of them, and have been doing them for well over a decade. Often attorneys will try to take these cases thinking that this is run-of-the-mill tort cases like in like an automobile accident or something, and it's just not. There's a lot of cases. Each case is unique. Um, there's no two cases that we've had that are the same. And so interpretations of the statute, whether it's running at large or who's an owner or a harbor or a keeper, there's just a lot of complexity to this area of the law. And I, we are intimately familiar with all of it.